Since Brother Robert asked us to give a witness, theology is a wonderful thing as long as it isn't just one of the many ologies. If it's a, a true knowledge of God, uh, not I mean, uh, uh, you can't be acquainted with somebody that doesn't really exist. Uh, you can build doctrines, you can, you can uh, make nice stories, whatever, but in the end, if it's what man has created, the hallmark of that is that it will be powerless. It, it can only contain as much power as the one that created it. And so I, I wanted to just give a very short testimony of the power of this resurrection. It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And it says, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. As, as you go on through here, it... Um, Jesus said of himself, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. And then he told us, walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. While ye have the light, believe in the light, that ye may be the children of light. Well, my testimony, brethren, because of the life that God is in me dividing darkness from light. Yes, I can say... That my flesh is a reproach and a shame to myself. We have personality. And there are qualities that are uh, the image of God that can, can be seen in us. But they've been corrupted. They've been defaced. It's not a true image. It's like a very poor mirror. Mm -hmm. One that distorts so that God is not properly seen in us. But as this life of Christ, the real life yeah. of the real Christ, yeah. not the invention of men's imagination, but the very God of heaven, as he sheds light in us, we began in that same light to understand. And that same power that sheds this light operates in us to be conformed so that the darkness is divided and driven away more and more. It's a, it's a real experience. And there's no, no glory for us to take to ourselves because it's something that he works in us. But we can recognize it, and we should not fail to give God glory for this or to say out of a false humility that it doesn't exist, but rather to glory in God and say, I am what I am by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to glory in Christ, this resurrected son of God, who, who took my sin and the sin of the whole world upon him experientially mm -hmm. and took it away, uh, a, away from the Father so that he could give me the life that was in himself. Mm -hmm. And that the Father, the people, some people like that word authorized. Well, the Father gave him commandment to take his life up, and he, he is the authorized distributor of that same life, that life of God. And I want to glory in God that I was once dead, and now I live by the life of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen.